Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review War Machine. So War Machine is directed by David Mashad. The film stars Brad Pitt, Anthony Hayes, Anthony Michael Hall, Topher Grace, RJ Seiler, Ben Kingsley, and Will Poulter. So War Machine is about this four star general played by Brad Pitt. He gets sent to Afghanistan to basically clean up the situation because there's been war for over the course of eight years over there but when Brad Pitt arrives over there he has to deal with these soldiers that are basically tired they just give up at this point and he also has these delusional politicians to deal with so War Machine is a film I was actually very interested in I really like the trailer I thought this could be a very funny movie and I'll be honest I'm not a political guy I actually hate politics but what caught my attention with this film based on the trailer it it was marketed to be the satire on war i was like wow this actually has a lot of potential and of course I love the cast. I love Brad Pitt. I love Topher Grace. I think he's an underrated actor, actually. Ben Kingsley. And then David Mashad. He also directed The Rover with Robert Pattinson and Guy Pearce. It's a great slow burn. I do recommend The Rover if you do really like those slow burn kind of movies. And how David Mashad was able to direct such a slow burning movie. It was very impressive. So I want to see what he could do with this film. Um, it's disappointing. I thought this could have been better, but honestly, War Machine at the end of the day, I thought was rather lame. It was a huge missed opportunity, personally. Brad Pitt is freaking amazing as this general. You know, he does have some good comedic chops because Brad Pitt has proven that he could do comedy well. And he does have some good chops here. But then when the film does get dramatic, he does do a very good job with certain dramatic moments too. I thought Brad Pitt all around did a very good job. Topher Grace, not in this film for too much, but whenever he is in this film... I thought he did a really good job. Same thing goes for Will Poulter. He does do a really good job. RJ Seiler, who was recently in Power Rangers, I thought he did a very good job here. Ben Kingsley is barely in this film. He's underused, but he's pretty good for the few scenes he has in this movie. Anthony Michael Hall is really good. Basically, everyone is honestly good in this film. The cinematography and War Machine does look very good, too. I did like the look of the movie. I thought as far as cinematography goes, it does look very nice for some of the movie, at least. I thought the direction by David Mashad was was actually very good and this film doesn't really have a lot of war sequences you really get one war sequence and that's really in the third act when we get to the third act that's when the film starts to pick up just a little bit for me because something was actually going on so when we see these tired soldiers actually going out at war it was actually very well filmed it was very intense I felt like I was there with those soldiers this film does have some funny parts some moments actually did make me laugh most of those laughs coming really from Brad Pitt's character. And then there are a couple of dramatic moments that I thought were very well executed with War Machine. And that's unfortunately all I have for positives because my biggest problem with War Machine is the tone. This movie has no clue what it wants to be. As far as the satire, I feel like the movie really messes up big time as far as satire goes. It wants to be this comedy, but then it wants to be this drama, and then it wants to be this war movie. This movie has no idea what it wants to be. The tone is so all over the place. It is a messy movie because of its tone. And David Mashad, who handled the slow burning technique and the rover so well, unfortunately, it doesn't really carry here. War Machine is a slow burner. The only difference is it's actually legitimately 
boring in my opinion when we see Brad Pitt dealing with these politicians. I'm not really that interested watching this film. When he is out talking to these soldiers, that's where the film's interesting, but unfortunately these soldiers don't really get a lot of screen time, nor do they really have a lot to do. Like I said, Will Poulter, R.J. Seiler, Topher Grace, Anyone that plays these soldiers, they are good, but unfortunately, they're not really given much material. It's not really until what I just mentioned my positives. It's not until the third act when we actually see these soldiers do something. Not to mention that there's these random sequences where everyone's just dancing and laughing or getting drunk. Like there's these weird montages that feel so out of place. There will be a dramatic moment or there will be a funny moment and then the next thing will be like a random montage and there's quite a bit of those weird sequences in this film and even David Michaud at times his direction wasn't particularly bad but while sometimes it was impressive other times I really felt like he was lost I felt like because of how unfocused and this is a very unfocused movie I feel like he had no clue where to really go with the war machine and as far as editing they really could have trimmed so many moments because so many scenes in war machine just drag on and on and on a lot of the comedy personally for me didn't work it was either awkward or it was just plain boring like I just wasn't really laughing and Ben Kingsley really really underused here like I said he is good here but they don't really do anything with Ben Kingsley overall War Machine is a missed opportunity it is a movie that has no idea what it wants to be even David Michaud after a while just feels really lost on where to take this film the film just drags on and on for the majority not a lot really happens in this film unfortunately and it sucks because there is a lot of potential for there to be a clever political satire somewhere but it just wasn't quite there the performances are very good the cinematography is great and yes some moments did hit for me as far as comedy goes but for the most part I thought War Machine was just so dull Tilda Swinton does show up here for a very small role before I forget she was really great here but I just think this movie could have been a whole lot better. While it's not necessarily a bad movie, it's just a very, very boring movie that I'm gonna forget instantly. I'm gonna give War Machine two out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about War Machine. This is 20 to Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.